in our Capitol Watch this afternoon hearing it's something millions of Americans struggle with each year, and it's something that statistically gets worse as you age. But for the most part, the government has stayed out of providing and funding hearing aids for hearing loss. But could that soon change? Or Joe St. George with a look at a policy that could impact you or your loved one's pocketbook. I was actually diagnosed with a hearing loss in my early 20s. Hillary Cohen is someone who isn't afraid to admit it. Hearing everything from cars on the road to a concert can be a challenge, and she's not alone. One in eight people in this country over the age of 12 suffers from hearing loss in both ears. Nearly 50% of those 75 and older have disabling hearing loss. That's according to the National Institute on Deafness. There's this one that's called behind the ear. As a result, Hillary wears hearing aids, but there's a problem, she says. Medicare does not cover hearing loss in most cases, and millions of older Americans don't get the help they need with their hearing. As a result, the best thing that ever happened turning 65 was having Medicare, except for the hearing aids. Hillary says the out of pocket costs of these devices add up. Hearing aids can cost thousands of dollars. And I've talked to so many people that decide not to get the hearing aids because it's just too expensive. Lawmakers have talked about changing what's covered under Medicare for years, but with not much success. However, for the moment, there's optimism that this year will change that. Democrats have included hearing loss coverage under Medicare in their massive multi-trillion dollar spending proposal. The cost, $300 billion over 10 years, with that estimate including covering dental and vision for the first time, too. Democrats want to raise taxes on higher income earners in order to pay for it. When Medicare came to be many years ago, it was seen as... Eh, it doesn't, it's not really that important. Dr. Frank Lynn is the director of the Cochlear Center for Hearing and Public Health at Johns Hopkins University. He says the reason hearing isn't covered right now is that when Medicare was created back in the 1960s, hearing loss wasn't seen as a big deal. It is now. He's leading a study connecting hearing loss with dementia. When we treat hearing loss, do we in fact reduce the rate of dementia and health care costs in order at all? So that's a tremendously important study. We see less than 15% of people who have a hearing loss actually use a hearing aid. But still there remains questions whether this will actually become law. Many moderate Democrats on Capitol Hill are growing uneasy at the prospect of spending more government money. And Republicans are poised to unanimously vote against any major spending bills over fears that tax increases and too much spending will raise prices on most things that people buy. But regardless of whether hearing loss gets covered soon, major changes involving hearing are set to take place in the coming months when hearing aids are expected to be available for purchase over the counter for the very first time. As for Hillary, a bit of advice if you're watching this and thinking of getting help. But it will change your life. In Washington, I'm Joe St. George.